For 40 years, it was derelict and abandoned, but now the old port of Tel Aviv is the hottest destination in a city that many regard as one of the hippest in the world. It's beautiful. It's really great. The kids are having a great time and the food is great. We're having, a, we're having a blast. Called the Namal by locals, the Tel Aviv port in the north of the city was constructed in 1936 as a result of strikes by Arab workers that shut down the port in nearby Jaffa. It operated as a port until 1965 and since 1965 it was actually uh, closed down as a port and was uh, totally uh, abandoned. At the start of the decade, the Tel Aviv port management ran a competition for local architects to redevelop the old port and turn it into a new public space with a budget of five million dollars. Israeli architects Kanitz Mezitz Kassif and Udi Kassif of Mezitz Kassif Architects were awarded the project. What's very special about Tel Aviv is that although it's a seafront city, uh, it's actually for many years in a way turned it back to the sea. We were basically uh, looking for a, a minimalistic approach that would, which will allow uh, people to express themselves rather than to create a place which uh, tells you what to do. The development plan was completed in 2008 and today the port is a popular and thriving location with restaurants, shops, cafes and a long wooden boardwalk that attract fishermen, cyclists, joggers and people of all ages who enjoy the port's unique seaside atmosphere. It's just beautiful and uh, very pleasant to be here. It's very clean, it's very open and spacey. Now the port has achieved international recognition after the Israeli designers, a husband and wife team, beat 420 other competitors to win first prize in the European Biennial of Landscape Architecture in Barcelona, Europe's most prestigious landscape architecture competition. Many people came to us and said we didn't know there are things like that in Tel Aviv. This is the first time a project from Israel has won the competition. They're saying God, bravo Tel Aviv! Yeah, I admire the simplicity that um, it's the office name Maizlitz Kassif did. Uh, we've created a platform that invites you, uh, even if you're not aware of it, uh, to step up and walk up and down. Uh, that actually uh, make children run immediately and try to conquer uh, these hills. Ganit and Udi are already developing more public projects in Israel, and thanks to their success in Barcelona, they are receiving offers from across the globe. I felt so happy. I felt, wow, we created some place that because of that, that makes someone so happy that they want to dance or express uh, their love 